Uh, this is Gary White. I'm a reporter at the Ledger newspaper in Lakeland. All right, sounds great. So um, you cover Polk County. What can you say about what damage you've seen from Hurricane Ian in Polk County? Well, I haven't had a chance to get out too much yet, but just around Lakeland, I can say it definitely seems to be uh, less severe than Hurricane Irma was. Um, in 2017, Lakeland was really whacked by Irma. There was debris all over the roads, uh, <clears throat> made it difficult to get around for days. Um, I'm seeing some down trees and a lot of leaf debris, but it doesn't seem at all comparable to Irma so far. So we were worried about the winds from this storm. We were worried, about, worried on the coast about storm surge, but I think maybe the biggest impact in Polk County might be the huge amounts of rainfall in some places. We're hearing from Polk County officials that there's life-threatening flooding in parts of the Peace River Basin south of Lake Hancock. What do you know about river flooding there? Um, we're still checking on that, but so far it doesn't seem as bad as we feared it would be. I talked to uh, Polk County Commissioner Rick Wilson, who lives right along the Peace River in Bartow, and he said so far the water level is not as high as it has been at some times in the past, but of course it could continue to rise. Um, I'm planning to go <clears throat> and check um, down toward Fort Meade in southern Polk County to see if, if there might be any uh, significant flooding there. Um, another area that floods often is in Northwest Lakeland, Itchipaka, Sassa Creek area. Uh, I talked to a resident this morning. He, he said as of, that was about nine o'clock this morning, um, <clears throat> the level, water levels weren't too bad so far. You've seen some downed trees and what other wind damage have you seen there in Polk County? Um, yeah, one of my colleagues got photos of billboards that have been knocked down and um, yeah, trees uprooted. Um, I talked to the director of, uh, or the president of Bach Tower Gardens in Lake Wales and he said <clears throat> he'd seen a lot of uprooted laurel oaks, which are not as strong and sturdy as the live oaks. Um, I do have a report of a uh, mobile home park in Fort Meade that had some significant damage, don't have the details yet, but apparently no one was injured. So um, overall, definitely, <clears throat> of course, people here make comparisons to the hurricanes that have come through before Charlie Francis and Jean in 2004, and then Irma in 2017. And doesn't the damage doesn't seem comparable to Charlie or Irma so far. Well, Gary White, anything else uh, that people should know about Polk County and Hurricane Ian before I let you go? Um, despite the fact that the damage is not as bad as feared, um, there definitely is are significant power outages. Um, earlier this morning, last I checked, more than 50,000 people in Lakeland still did not have power. Um, the entire city of Fort Meade, I know, was without power and <clears throat> large sections of other cities throughout Polk also are still without power. Not clear when it will be back. Um, the utilities are sending crews out today to start assessing and repairing, but it seems likely some people will probably be without power for at least a day or two. Well, Gary, thanks so much for joining me on WMNF. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate it.